Alliteration. Repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of words. Please, people, put the peas on the plate. Allusion. Reference to mythology, history, literature, or pop culture. Nice haircut, Justin Bieber. Not the comma that's raised up. Apostrophe. Speaking to a person or idea who is not or cannot be present. Jeez, Mom, where the heck are you? Aside. Brief speech where the actor speaks to himself or to the audience. Man, this guy's dumb. Irony. When something expected doesn't happen, and the opposite does happen. It's ironic that my pet fish, Willard, drowned to death. Oxymoron. Contradiction of terms side by side. My friend Nick here will show you some examples of oxymorons. Now it has nothing to do with retarded cattle or stupid mistakes you made with household cleaners, but it is something you ought to know. Oxymorons are little gems of the English language. You take two things that contradict each other, you put them together, and awful, good, awfully good. Sure, that makes sense. Phrases like act naturally, almost exactly, alone, together, clearly misunderstood, definite, maybe, exact, estimate, found, missing, genuine, imitation, good, grief, passive, aggressive, peace, force, pretty, ugly, resident, alien, sweet, tart, icy, hot. I need to take a breath. <gasps> Instant classic, continuing resolution, nothing much, pronounced, silence, loosely packed, liquid, gas, awfully good, hopelessly optimistic, fresh, frozen, deliberately thoughtless, original copy, only choice, current history, and rolling stop. Are you starting to get the idea? The more opposite the words seem, the better the oxymoron. But be careful, because you can have two opposite sounding words that don't qualify because of the way that they're used. Like still moving. Still in this case means continuous, not motionless. And even odds won't work either, because even means equivalent, and odds refers to chance, not even an odd like the numbers. But that doesn't mean there aren't plenty of them out there for you to use, like same difference, silent scream, small crowd, sweet sorrow, synthetic natural gas, terribly pleased, tight slacks, jumbo shrimp, working vacation, living dead, incorrect facts, intentional accident, freezer burn, and sanitary landfill. Now, not everything labeled oxymoron is an oxymoron. People trying to be funny will say things like military intelligence is an oxymoron or feminine logic, but they aren't. They're just trying to be clever, trying a little too hard. These are the same kind of people who think puns are funny. Punny. <laughs> the same thing goes for honest politician, business ethics, and Microsoft works. It's a nice try, but it just can't hold a candle to numb feeling. How can you have a numb feeling? You can't, it's numb. Real oxymorons have that subtle ring to them, that certain something that makes you say, what? The super cool part is that technically they're not incorrect, so you can use them all the time and you'll never look dumb. They're fun to use and they're even more fun to make up. So this week, get out there and use as many oxymorons as you can. Metaphor, the comparison of two unlike things not using the words like or as. You are a tree. Personification, giving inanimate objects human characteristics. Man, the wind just will not settle down. Pun, play on words. Boy, you're looking sharp today. Simile, the comparison of two things using the words like or as. Your face is like ice cream. And last, certainly not least, hyperbole, an exaggeration, usually an impossible one. There were like 17 million firefighters there! Still terrified, I'll take care of it, no problem. <laughs> Die. Die. Oh, hey, look, you're a serial killer. No. Get in the ball. You get in the ball. Voila! In view, a humble vaudevillian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate, 
This visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the Vox Populi, now vacant, vanished. Uh.